Hi, uh, my name is Petteri Mark. I'm one of the co-founders at 13th Lab, and uh, we're here at GDC to launch our uh, newest product on Kickstarter, and it's called Rescape, and it looks like this. And uh, what it is, is a way to make uh, first-person shooters that are mobile, uh, immersive, and multiplayer. And uh, basically what we do is we use uh, advanced computer vision to understand what the world around you looks like and then uh, track your movements through the world and uh, map that into game movements. So basically what that means is you can turn your uh, world around you into a game. Can you talk a little about some of the games you guys have already worked with on this? Yeah, so one of the reasons we're doing a Kickstarter is to get early access to developers and, and enthusiasts. Uh, so that's the whole point of this Kickstarter campaign, is to reach uh, developers who uh, are interested in, in developing for this. And uh, over the weekend we've done uh, some previews of this and we've had uh, some huge interests. Um, nothing I can talk about yet, but um, I think uh, we're pretty confident that uh, by the time this comes out in six months, there'll be uh, plenty of titles on it. Just from a demo standpoint, what games have you been using to showcase the technology? Yeah, so right now we have uh, one game we've developed ourselves, it's called Office Defender. Uh, and then we've also ported Quake um, that you can use with this as a, as a six degrees of freedom controller. Um, and it's pretty cool. Talk a little about the actual technology and what's inside of this device. Yeah, definitely. So the device itself is pretty simple. It's, uh, it's uh, a uh, game controller with a trigger um, and a D-pad. And there's also a specialized optics that we use to enhance tracking. Um, the magic happens in the software, which is um, a technique called SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. It's been used in robotics before, like uh, NASA Mars rovers, uh, to have robots understand the world around them and to be able to navigate in that. And uh, we were the first ones to take this to uh, consumer devices, and now we're taking the next step um, with Rescape, so you can really understand the structure of the world and very accurately position yourself in that and how you're moving and all these things. What are your thoughts on the advances in technology we're seeing in the mobile space, especially with technology like the NVIDIA Tegra K1 they just announced at CES? Yeah, so we're extremely excited about um, all the all the uh, things going on in the mobile space. We use, um, we push these things to the max. The, the CPU um, is very important for us and uh, if we get access to the GPU, uh, that would be awesome too. Um, the 5S that we're running on here, uh, we can do this tracking in 60 FPS, uh, which is pretty cool. When it comes to the, the games that are coming out, we're also seeing a lot of titles go from mobile to, to PC and other screens. What, what does that open up for something like this? Yeah, so I think uh, this really um, is a way to make first-person shooters that have been hugely successful on PCs and consoles but not so much on mobile. I think they can uh, really shine on, on this device. Um, the, this gives a whole new level of immersion um, that uh, hasn't been present on mobile before. What does this open up from a multiplayer perspective? Yeah, so, so this is uh, one of the really fun aspects of this, uh, is the multiplayer, uh, where we can actually play together. And when I look at you, I see a digital representation of you. It can be whatever, it can be a soldier, it can be a robot or anything. And uh, we sync our positions, so, so when you run past me, I see in the game, I see you run past me and it's, it's pretty cool.